Hello everyone, my name is Jesper, I'm from Astera and welcome to the AX9 PowerPAR product walkthrough. The AX9 PowerPAR is a 3-in-1, so it works as a wireless PAR, as a wired PAR and also as an elegant uplight. You guys might know our AX5, which is also a 3-in-1 PAR. However, the AX9 here has some improvements that you will soon get to know about. The AX9 here in front of me is built with our famous Titan LED engine. So that means that you have the RGB, mint and amber. You have a huge wide range that goes from 1750 Kelvin and all the way up to 20,000 Kelvin. CRI and TLCI is 96 or above. And depending on the color space you want to use, for instance in the app or maybe behind of the display here, then you can choose to work with RGB, HSI, X and Y and also filter gels. These are of course here accessible from the display of the light in the app or even if you work on a lighting desk. The AX9 has a native beam angle on 13 degrees. Comes with two different filters, a flood filter of 32 degrees and also a wall wash filter that are 17 by 46 degrees. Here is the two different filters, so the one I'm holding here in my right hand is the flood filter and then we have the wall wash filter. As you see here in the video, it's actually super easy to mount on the light in case you want to spread it more, maybe light up a bigger surface with the wall wash filter or maybe even the flood filter. And here you also see the differences between the beams. We also made an egg crate for the AX9, just in case we want to avoid spill light. The insert is the same as the filters and you also see that the holes here are surrounding all the lenses and creates a very nice result. As you see here in the video, it's super easy to mount on the AX9. Furthermore, you see the result down in the bottom once it's actually put onto the light. We don't have any spill light, but we have a nice beam up against the wall. The bracket on the AX9 is also what makes it a bit special because it's easy to remove and also to insert again. We also have built on an airline track like you know from the power station, pixel brick and also the AX2 so we can use different amounts of accessories as well. Now we have the light standing here and also with the foldable feet just as you know it also from the AX5. When we turn it around we can easily just fold them in and then we have the bracket for itself. What you see right here is the two springs to simply just take off the bracket, pull and then take off the bracket. We can easily also here mount it on the light back again. Just as a little extra here now that we look behind on the light we have four screws right here. Take a screwdriver and then just screw them out. Then we have a hole for eyebolt M6. This little hook here on the back is for safety wire just in case you hang it high then we of course need to safety wire it and this is where it's done. We also get the question a lot especially with the AX5 and also the AX9 now have the hole right there. So what is this hole all about? It's actually the siren when we use the theft alarm in the app so this is basically the theft alarm siren. Now when we talk about the bracket and also the mounting options that comes with it, I already told you about the folding feeds here. Then we also have a thread, so a 3 8 of an inch and we have a 14 millimeter hole and also a airline track up here on top. 3 8 of an inch with a baby pin, screw it in, use it with a super clamp or even on a gobo head. The 14 millimeter hole here on the right is for a half coupler or even a G-clamp, can be that you don't have a baby pin or a track pin, then just put the bolt here through, mount it and then you are good to go. Then of course here up on top we have the airline track which is for the track pin. Simply just put it here, screw it tight and then we can also mount it with a super clamp or even in a gobo head. The bracket here has a different design, also means that the bracket here is strong and also solid. Since the bracket is so easy to take off like this, there is also another feature here in the bottom. This is what we call quick release kickstand. There is a little button here, so in case you just want it as an elegant uplight and angle it up against the wall, then we can use the kickstand and angle it just like that. 
In case you do a corporate event and you don't want the black light to stand up against the wall but have a different look, then we also have covers for the light. You might know it from the AX5. We have mirror and also white and comes in a little carry bag. Nice to carry and also to transport eight pieces in a bag as well. As you see here in the video, there is Velcro on the flex cover, so it's super fast and easy to mount on the light. And also with the white cover, so in case you stand in front of a, a white wall, then the white cover might be more convenient. But if you want it to blend in with the surroundings, then the mirror also does a very good job. The AX9 have the same controlling options as all the other lights. We can of course control it with the Astera app, create groups, change colors, use HSI, filter gels, etc. And as we know from the NYX bulb and also the Pixel Brick, this AX9 also have built-in Bluetooth. That means that we can take our phone and connect it directly to the first light and then connect other Astera lights to it. So we do not necessarily need the Astera box here, we can simply just pair with the app to the first one. It also has built-in CRMX wireless DMX. If you do have a lighting desk, simply just take the Astera box or a Lumen radio transmitter, connect it to your lighting desk and we are good to go controlling the lights with wireless DMX. We can of course also hardwire the light. So here on the side we do have DMX 5 pin in and out and then on the other side we have power control 1 in and out as well. You can hardwire it standard DMX protocol 512. The AX9 also have a display with dedicated buttons for brightness and also for color control. You know it from the Titan tube, power station, pixel brick. So basically we can access everything from behind of the display, static colors, we have filter gels and also the HSI control directly accessible here in the display. The light is also IP65 rated, so you can use it outdoor without worry about it when it's raining. Of course, for the light to be IP65, we need to remember to put on the rubber caps here, otherwise it's not IP65. But as you see here in the video, it works very well. We just need to remember the rubber caps, then we can splash water onto the AX9 as much as we want to. You might know it from the AX5, the AX9 here works exactly the same as charging an AX5 and there is built a charging plate for 8 pieces to put in a case as well. The flight case what we make is 60 by 120 outer dimensions. So just as the AX5 it has two charging points right up here. So as you see in the video we simply just place the lights down in the charging plate just plugs in the power and then you charge all eight lights at the same time. Now a little bit specifications about the AX9, also for your reference here on the right side. It has 105 watt total LED power and after we calibrated it, it has 70 watt power draw. 3008 lumen and with a charging time of five hours. Runtime is similar to AX5, so around 5 hours as well. It's very lightweight, actually 5.7 kilograms. When we compare the AX5 and the AX9, then the AX9 have four new features. Which means that it's with the Titan LED engine, the AX5 has a RGB amber white. Of course, both of them have a removable bracket, but the AX9 with the airline track and some threads up on top. The display is also a bit different to the AX9, which have the dedicated buttons for brightness and also color control, which you also know from the Titan tube. Anyways, here in front of me, you can compare a little bit. So that was all about our new AX9 power par, also with a bit compared with the AX5. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.